Hello there. How are you? Very good, fine, sir. Yourself? I'm very good, thank you. My name's Harry. What's your full name, please? My full name is Sahil Munjal, sir. Sahil Munjal, and we're doing ISC 2 today. Nice to meet you, Sahil. Do, mm. do you live in Croydon, or have you come a long way today? Sir, so I just uh, come back. Um, sorry? Do you, do you live in Croydon or have you come a long no, no, way sir, today? Sir, sir, I come uh, all the way from the Sunbury Thames. Sunbury on the oh, so quite a long way. Long way, yeah. Long journey, good. Anyway, well, we're going to start with your topic today, then, Sahil. Um, what are we going to talk about? Um, I basically prepared the topic on my profession. Your profession? Yeah. I see. Okay, so... Um, what exactly is your profession? What's your line of work? So I work uh, with the company who deals with the to uh, tech gadgets. I work as a, in the position of a, a, like store handler, a camera technician. So store handler and technician. So I mean, what things do you have to do on a, so a normal day in your basically, job? Basically, uh, being an individual in the store, I need to handle all the departments, like main front front side departments, main pillars. Uh, such as um, um, customer obviously services um, selling the phones and other gadgets I see. Yeah, that yeah. is uh, just to come under the department of the obviously the store the customer services but on on the other pillar is like technical grounds which covers the repairs and unlocking etc sure. and uh, like uh, hardware and software both sides i would call in yeah. technical I see. Well, what, what, what are the advantages for customers of coming to see you rather than doing things online so uh, the advantages uh, basically they can gain a lot of advantages they can compare the product as compared to going online and buying the stuff sometimes they get the wrong products so they can see the products actually uh, in front of uh, their like you know the obviously like it's a, it's not particularly um, you know that uh, depend on the customers like what they exactly want like they they can see um, like what products uh, you know they want and uh, uh, obviously uh, it's gen um, my thing is to uh, basically generate a more and more profits for the company yeah so sure. I, I obviously I obviously attract the customer towards the uh, new products to give them demonstrations and all this and to generate a generate yeah, yeah. new I mean would, would you advise people generally to buy a top range product rather than a yeah. cheaper one do you think it's a good saving yeah, that, would you advise them to do that yeah that could be the main reason the people should come to the stores so they can see the product they what they are actually actually buying it and then obviously it's a, uh, beneficial for the customer to uh, you know get the better quality products it obviously lasts longer with them as compared to buy a cheap products and then keep buying it they may be ending ending up with them putting more money on such particular product to buying online as compared to just to go to the store and buy the top quality product yeah, 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 yeah. And what did you used to do before you started doing this type of work? So I've been in this field many years, like so obviously. Uh, but before that, like I was just uh, doing the sales, sales like mm -hmm. basically to selling the um, insurance and stuff, concept selling, basically. Yeah. I mean, do you think there was a possibility that you might have stayed? With the same yeah, yeah, thing, or I definitely you were always gonna. Yeah, I definitely gonna be stayed with the uh, same field because uh, I have done so many years in the same, and it gives me a lot of confidence in the product, especially on the grounds of technicality. I gain a lot of experience and experts to do the repairs and stuff. So mm. if I, even I switch uh, the company, I still go for the same field. I think because yeah. of Is the there financial. Any chance you might set up your own company. Yeah, there is a definitely a possibility I can set up in future my own company as well mm. because yeah. of the the amount of experience I gain over the years and uh, the um, obviously it's a more valuable as well because nowadays mobile phone gadgets become the necess second necessity of the life. First is food obviously, but second is the phones and stuff. 
Sure, sure. Okay. Well, thanks very much for, for telling me about uh, your line of work then, Sahil. We better move on, talk about something different, move on to the collaborative task. Now, for this part, I'll start by telling you something. Then you have to ask me questions to find out more information and make some comments. Okay? You need to keep the conversation going. After about four minutes, I'll end the conversation. Okay? Are you ready? Yes, sir. I'm ready. Okay. Now, my friend is thinking of giving up her job and going to university. And I'm not sure if this is a good idea or not. So, um, obviously, if um, what's the age of your friend? Uh, she's 30, 34 now. 34. Mm. Okay, so um, if she thinking to uh, giving up the job and going for the studies, she must be having uh, some future plans which she needs to achieve or she got a, a different viewpoint. She may be, obviously I can understand she's at a certain age now, but I think yeah. she realized maybe later on she wanted to do something. She can do something because better. She's, she, the, the, the course that she's doing yeah. is really for personal interest personal. rather than to develop her career. Okay, so then the other thing is obviously um, I don't know what kind of responsibility she's have towards the, her family, but if she has the responsibilities, I think she must be focused on the on on the job career in the profession at a certain age, the age she's mm. on now. But obviously, some people just have a personal uh, uh, interest which they can ignore the careers and the responsibilities towards the family for French. I mean, she has to support the financially to the family. But if she has enough resources and she has been working mm -hmm. over the mm -hmm. years, yeah. she well, might... See, she's, she's, she's got a couple of quite small children, which, okay. you know, means it's a bit of a gamble financially. I, I can't help feeling. Okay. So I think she must be focused. She she's she must be ignore the personal uh, uh, you know interests. I mean, and she must be focused on the career to support the support financially to their family, to her family. And uh, obviously, like uh, if she still have the interest, she can be doing a part time like after the job. Yeah, that could yeah. Be the I mean, what, what advice would you give her then? To I, to, to follow her, her heart, or if I I was in her position, I rather to support my family first. Mm. And I always advise uh, to anyone like they must uh, first look in after their family, their 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 uh, for social and financial responsibilities towards the family and the thing, and mm. then they I can mean, go. There's, for there's a lot of things that might go wrong. Yeah, because of that, obviously, she uh, might be on the wrong path now. Someone is not, like, giving her the proper advice. It could mm. be the reason. She might not have an elder, someone to give her proper advice. Right. Mm, very true. Good. Okay. Thanks very much for that, Sahil. I'll, I'll, I'll tell her the results of our deliberations. Let's move on now, then. Talk about something different. Um, I want to talk about um, national environmental concerns. And obviously, there's the big summit for the environment in, in Egypt at the moment. But we've also got problems with the uh, getting fuel and petrol and things like that, which people say are, are bad things to use, things like petrol and diesel. But at the moment, maybe... You know, we, we need to use them. What, what, what do you feel about that? So, basically, the, um, the thing is like national, we, we obviously uh, the fuels and stuff create a high pollution. Or mm -hmm. This is the major uh, drawback of the natural resources. But now, mm -hmm. similarly, there are ecosystems available in the market now, like uh, cyclings and bicycles and uh, like electric operated motorbikes. So mm -hmm. um, I think in the coming 10 years, 
uh, oh, I'm not particularly talking about the UK. Maybe the whole world is introducing the eco-friendly transportations. Mm -hmm. Uh, some countries might have already been you know introduced which obviously mm. protect from the pollution there is a definitely a thing I, I i would like to say here like you know the the natural resources definitely generate the pollutions which um, um, harm the our daily routine and health yes yeah, so yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. i think i mean I, yeah i mean do, do you think there's a time when for example in the near future when maybe we'll all have electric cars rather than using petrol driven cars so I, I would say here definitely they're gonna introduce in coming 10 years by 2030 the government already announced they are introducing everywhere in the eco-friendly eco systems for specially yeah. transportation and the Elon Musk is the person who is obviously already took the initiative yeah. I mean what, what, what would you say to somebody who says Look, I haven't got enough money. I can't afford an electric car. They're not cheap. Yeah, but the thing is, um, at the minute, I can understand it could be costly because there is not much buyers available in the market. But in mm. the coming years, in the future, I think the the ecosystem is properly installed uh, by reducing the cost of the product to obviously supply a more and more products and if the people are demanding more the companies are uh, obviously taking the part to uh, you know bringing the yeah. eco-friendly cars and stuff so once the competition is there I think the cost will be reduced will be reduced yeah yeah well let's hope so good okay yeah. thank you very much Sayyam Let's move on to the listening part of our time together. Right, um, I'm going to share my screen with you. So now you should just see a sign saying ISC listening. Right, okay. Now, um, you're going to hear a talk about an environmental issue. You will hear the talk twice. The first time, just listen. Then I'll ask you to tell me generally what the speaker is talking about. Okay, are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. ISC2. Can you hear that okay? I can hear properly, sir, yes. Good, thank you. Thank you. Okay, today we're going to be looking at the problem of food waste. Food waste is an increasingly serious problem with about a third of all food produced not being eaten. There are two main factors which apparently contribute to this problem. The main factor appears to be changes in how we buy food. As the price of groceries has decreased in relation to the size of incomes, consumers seem to have formed bad habits, buying more food than they need and then throwing away any excess. Not only this, but people are now eating more meat than ever before. Meat is harder to store and transport than vegetables. This results in even more waste because so much meat actually goes bad before it reaches the consumer. Additionally, due to more efficient farming practices, farmers are now producing more food than is required. Not only is this a huge waste, it is an environmental concern too. Food production causes a significant amount of the dangerous gases that are responsible for global warming. And if the food isn't eaten, this is unnecessary. But changes in how we buy food isn't the only cause of the high levels of food waste. The other major cause is supermarkets. Supermarkets tend to cancel or reduce an order at the last minute. This means farmers often have to destroy their crops. Supermarkets are also considered to be responsible for a number of other factors as regards food waste. Sometimes, supermarkets will throw away fruit and vegetables if they aren't the right size, the perfect shape, or the right colour. For example, if oranges aren't actually an orange colour. Another common complaint seems to be supermarkets putting a date on the packaging that tells the customer that the contents are best before a certain date. In reality, this is simply a recommendation, as people can still usually eat the food after this date. This leads to customers throwing away perfectly good food. One other concern that people have regarding supermarkets is the way they dispose of their waste. 
I've heard that supermarkets sometimes sell their unsold food to factories, where it's burnt to make electricity. This may suggest a more ecological way to dispose of waste, rather than burying it in the ground. However, this must still be creating unnecessary pollution. It's up to us, as well as supermarkets, to make changes to our food habits. Okay, so can you tell me in one or two sentences what the speaker was talking about? Yes, right, sir. So the speaker is talking about the food wastages and uh, she is obviously mentioning about the advantages of food waste or disadvantage, which is positive and negative points, I would say here. I see. Okay, thank you very much. Um, now, listen to the task again. This time you can make some notes um, as you listen if you want to. Then I'll ask you to tell me about the reasons for increased food waste and how supermarkets contribute to the problem of food waste. Okay, are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, today we're going to be looking at the problem of food waste. Food waste is an increasingly serious problem with about a third of all food produced not being eaten. There are two main factors which apparently contribute to this problem. The main factor appears to be changes in how we buy food. As the price of groceries has decreased in relation to the size of incomes, consumers seem to have formed bad habits, buying more food than they need and then throwing away any excess. Not only this, but people are now eating more meat than ever before. Meat is harder to store and transport than vegetables. This results in even more waste, because so much meat actually goes bad before it reaches the consumer. Additionally, due to more efficient farming practices, farmers are now producing more food than is required. Not only is this a huge waste, it is an environmental concern too. Food production causes a significant amount of the dangerous gases that are responsible for global warming. And if the food isn't eaten, this is unnecessary. But changes in how we buy food isn't the only cause of the high levels of food waste. The other major cause is supermarkets. Supermarkets tend to cancel or reduce an order at the last minute. This means farmers often have to destroy their crops. Supermarkets are also considered to be responsible for a number of other factors as regards food waste. Sometimes, supermarkets will throw away fruit and vegetables if they aren't the right size, the perfect shape, or the right colour. For example, if oranges aren't actually an orange colour. Another common complaint seems to be supermarkets putting a date on the packaging that tells the customer that the contents are best before a certain date. In reality, this is simply a recommendation, as people can still usually eat the food after this date. This leads to customers throwing away perfectly good food. One other concern that people have regarding supermarkets is the way they dispose of their waste. I've heard that supermarkets sometimes sell their unsold food to factories, where it's burnt to make electricity. This may suggest a more ecological way to dispose of waste, rather than burying it in the ground. However, this must still be creating unnecessary pollution. It's up to us as well as supermarkets, to make changes to our food habits. Okay, right. Okay, Sahil, um, now tell me the reasons for increased food waste and how supermarkets contribute to the problem of food waste. I'll stop you after one minute. Okay. okay. Right. Sir. So uh, there are uh, um, plenty of uh, reasons for food wastages, but uh, I would just mention here the couple of like uh, more meat eaters now and excess buying is the main reason the people are buying excess food and then they throw away, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, um, obviously the, the people it's 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 generate a more of a contribution the supermarket is also contributing to uh, you know increase the food wastages because they are cancelling their order 
mm-hmm. on the uh, uh, not in in uh, ineffective time and uh, they are throwing away because of the color and stuff packaging mm-hmm. is not proper so they are throwing away which generates the global warming as well okay. and uh, uh, they are obviously um, dispo- uh, some of the uh, f- uh, one or two may be the advantage as well to generate the electricity and stuff but i would say the 100 reasons is obviously the bad reasons and only one or two advantages of the food okay. list okay All right Okay, Sanya, thank you very much. It's thank been you. nice speaking to you. Thank you. We're all finished. Have a quick journey home. Thank you so much, Seth. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay.